Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video. Today, we're playing a game mode that I think a lot of people have forgotten about. Today, we are jumping into Free Run. Now, if you guys don't know what Free Run is, basically, it's a parkour course that you have to do, and it's kind of like a time trial in Call of Duty. And of course, with all of the advanced jetpack movement in Black Ops 3, it makes for some very interesting parkour courses. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this, and we're going to see what time we get here on the very first map. This is Alpha. Now, I've played this game mode before on PlayStation 4 when the game first came out, but I don't think I've played Free Run since, so this will be pretty interesting to see how I do. So, starting line, here we go. Now, I remember that there are a few ways that you can, you know, maybe do some shortcuts here and there, like cut some corners like this, and then you gotta go over here, and then there's a way that you can like skip these jumps in a way kind of like that so that's pretty cool we got this ai voice talking to us i don't know what the hell she's saying but we're just doing the best we can here yeah very nice yeah smooth continuous motion i agree that's what we have to do keep being fluid and everything that we do but yeah i mean it's kind of a neat game mode it's kind of unfortunate that this never got dlc I forgot all about the uh, shooting portions of it too. But it is kind of unfortunate that this never got DLC. And I think that's part of the reason why this game mode is so easily forgotten amongst people. Because nothing really happened with this game mode. I mean, sure you had some people who went to go for records and have the fastest time on the leaderboards and things like that. But I mean, nothing else really happened outside of that. It's kind of unfortunate. It's a unique idea, especially because you have all this jetpack movement and things like that. So, yeah, here we go. We're about a minute into the course here. I think we're doing okay, honestly. Uh, I don't know what the uh, best times would be for this, but here we go. I kind of jumped over some of the water there. Hopefully that got me far. Got to swim. Go, 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 go. You can still drown if you're not careful. Yeah, I mean, we are underwater after all. Thank you for the tip. Looks like we have some more wall running sections here. And you know what's kind of interesting too is like in some of the zombies maps, right? Primarily Dreisendrac and Revelations, you've had some free run sort of obstacles and free run courses like for Dreisendrac, for example, you had that wall running bit to get the shield. And then in Revelations, you have the wall running bit to get the perk and things like that. So, I mean, hey, elements of free run have been in in um, other parts of Black Ops 3, I suppose. Oh no, I missed and it gave me a penalty of plus one second. Are you serious? Oh man, well, that time should be 217, not 218. But hey, honestly, I'm pretty happy with that time. So anyways, that was the first course. That was Alpha. So let's go ahead and quit the game and let's go ahead and try out the next course, which I think is called Infected. No, I was wrong. The next one is actually called Sidewinder and then the one after that one is called Infected. So let's go ahead and jump in on Sidewinder and see what happens here. I don't think I've actually played this course before, so this will be brand new. With Alpha, I had somewhat of an idea of what I was doing just because I'd previously played it, but yeah, I, I don't think I remember Sidewinder at all. All right, well, here we go. Very tan, got some sand on the course here. Oh, I'm gonna restart. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna restart the whole course there because that was not a good jump and not a good slide. So there we go. And of course, because this is a time trial based sort of game mode, you have checkpoints, you can restart at your last checkpoint, or if you really wanted to, you could restart the entire course, which you saw me do right there. Yeah, this is kind of a eerie locale too, just out in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if there's any kind of lore behind this too, or maybe the lore behind it is just that it's supposed to be some sort of combat simulator. Ooh, we skipped that entire jump, hell yeah. <laughs> I was hoping I'd be able to do that. Just trying to take some extra shortcuts here and there. Try to improve our time. Yeah, like I said before, this is one of those game modes that really didn't get to see a whole lot of cool things happen to it. Obviously, you had zombies and multiplayer. The main focus is a Black Ops 3, as they should be. But, you know, this is something that's kind of unique. So, I need to definitely hurry up when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the shooting parts. Take a little shortcut here. Ooh, can we like hop over this? Oh, we sure can. Oh, but I'm back in the water. Damn. I was hoping to maybe do a jump over that. Oh, okay, a little shortcut. And by little shortcut, I mean little shortcut. I don't think that saved me a whole bunch of time. Maybe that saved me a little bit of time. I don't really know. Yeah, with something like this game mode, it would have been really cool to see this take off in a speedrunning sort of community. I mean, I know this game mode does technically have its own little niche community, but at the same time, it would have been cooler to see this maybe 
at esports events or something along those lines. I don't know. But here we got the Shiva. There we go. Hit our targets that time. Let's see. Are we getting close to the end here? I feel like we are. There we go. Honestly, we're not doing too bad so far. I've only had to restart once so far in this video. So that's pretty neat. And of course, we don't want to restart from last checkpoint because if we do that, we lose, what was it, five seconds? There we go. Oh, we have another thing to shoot over here. Oh, no. No. Okay. All right. I didn't realize we had two things to shoot. Well, that's going to hurt our time significantly, isn't it? There we go. I think I see the end up there. All right, we got to go through this. Wall run over here. Boost jump. Oh, no, I missed. Oh, shoot. I should probably restart, huh? I should probably restart to see if we can get a better time. Come on. Oh, mantle up there. Thank you. All right, and we got to wait for our jetpack. Dang, jetpack. All right, well... 306. I think I'm going to do that one more time. Okay, let's see if we can get a better time this time around. That section there with the wall and the double force fields with the uh, with the M8A7 there. I wasn't expecting there to be two barriers. So here we go. Let's see if we can improve our time. Looks like we're slightly behind our time. And I mean just slightly. I mean, we're talking about tenths and hundredths of seconds that we're behind. So... I mean, not much is too different about this run compared to last. Let's be honest here. Here we go. Nice. We're making up ground here, guys. We're making up ground. Oh, wow. That didn't penalize me. I missed that second shot. Okay. That's very interesting. I feel like I got kind of lucky there. All right. There we go. We're behind again somehow. Oh, come on. Okay. I think I did that section a little bit better than last time kind of climbing up over the wall and using the jetpack to boost over that instead of swimming. Yeah, there we go. See, now we're a full second ahead, which is pretty nice, I must say. I mean, we're getting up to that part again where we have to use the M8A7, so we'll definitely save a bunch of time when we get over to that section, let me tell you. Just skip the first one. Skip the first one. Skip the second one. Ooh, that was a little bit risky, actually, but we did it. Oh, I missed again, and I don't think it penalized me, or maybe I, I missed the penalty, but... I don't know. Okay, here we go. M8A7 section. We're back here. Here we go. There's the first one. There's the second one. Flawless. Perfect execution right there. Heck yeah. All right, let's see if we can do this wall running bit without screwing it up now. Okay, got to recharge our jetpack. Yes, very nice. Okay, recharge our jetpack again. Climb, wait for the jetpack again. And a much better time there. 2.45. Very nice. Much better than our time of 3.06. The next course we're going to be trying today is Infected. And once again, I don't remember playing this one when Black Ops 3 originally came out. But whoa. Okay. This one's uh, this one's pretty interesting. The Frozen Forest and everything. Looks like we've got a much longer course than the other one as well. So maybe we'll be here for a little bit. Who knows? But I really like the look of this one in the sort of mental world created by that AI dude. And I already fell. I'm going to restart. But anyways, guys, what do you guys think about free run here in Black Ops 3? Honestly, like I've said before, this is a pretty underrated game mode. Unfortunate that this didn't really get to see the time of day when it came to updates and things like that for all of the seasonal content that Black Ops 3 got. But it's definitely nice to play something different when it comes to Call of Duty. Obviously, we're all used to zombies and multiplayer and campaign and things like that. So, you know what? It is pretty cool playing something a little bit different. Something that, uh, you know, you don't normally see in Call of Duty, which are really unique game modes like this sometimes. We got multiple things to shoot here with the Vesper. Oh, I ran out of jetpack steam, jetpack fuel or whatever there. Oh, wow. This is a this is a tricky part here, actually. Hang on. Okay, maybe I should do back and forth here for this part. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I thought I was going to fall off at any point there, but we did it. We did it. Okay, we didn't even touch the water there. That's nice. Oh, my slide ran out. Okay. Yeah, we might have to do another run of this one. Just because we had three faults there on the Vesper part. That was a really tricky part, actually. Not gonna lie. Okay, but here we go. Ooh. Gotta get up high on these walls so we have some more room to fall down and grab the wall. 
Okay. No, are you serious? Damn, really? My jetpack fuel ran out there again. Alright, let's try to get up high on that wall again. Ooh, okay. That was... That was something now, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. We got the KRM now. One of my... Okay, apparently that first shot missed, but one of my favorite guns from Black Ops 3 Zombies is what I was going to say. Can we skip this whole water section? We sure can. Screw the water. Okay, this looks like something that'll be at the end of a course here. Now this is gonna be interesting. Oh, that wasn't as interesting as I thought it was going to be. Never mind. <laughs> I was expecting it to be really windy and really difficult. Oh, okay. Well, this this is just not, that's just not good. Let me just replenish my jetpack. Run on the wall a little bit. Okay, we're almost to the end. Okay, there we go. Okay, wait for our jetpack to replenish again. Wait for our jetpack to replenish. And 350 or 351. Okay. I'm gonna do this course one more time because I I just didn't really like that middle section very much with the Vesper. Okay, so far we're definitely doing better than the other attempt. We're about half a second ahead, which is pretty cool. Every little second and every half second counts, right? Ooh, wow, I played it really risky there and I probably shouldn't have. Okay, here we go, Vesper part. Okay, here we go. Okay, very good. Yeah, first try. There we go. Plus 20 or plus minus 26 seconds there. Very nice. We saved a lot of time there. Holy. And our slide didn't run out on that part either. Oh, this is a much better run. This is a much, much, much better run than the last one, which is awesome. Jetpack over to this one. Okay. A little bit risky on that. Oh, and then this part here. We kind of screwed this one up a few times, didn't we? We're going to save some time here. There we go. Yeah, we saved a crap load of time there. <laughs> it did it again, the freaking KRM. What are we doing? I know it's a shotgun, and the pellets kind of go in uh, different locations, but come on, man. I'm aiming right at the damn thing. Got to put some slugs in that KRM. Okay, here we go again with this wall running section. I think I know why this section wasn't as bad as that uh, second section with the wall running is because those walls aren't as harsh. These walls have 90 degree turns here. So that's what makes this part maybe a little more difficult. But we definitely mastered it that time. Ooh, all right. That's probably the most annoying part about this so far. At the very end, with these uh, with these walls we have to scale, the jetpack has to recharge every time. But hey, 247, a much better time than the uh, than the first attempt. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, Blackout, the fourth and final free run map here in Black Ops 3. This map I remember being pretty difficult. I remember attempting it a few times on PS4 and I don't know if I ever completed it or not. So we're gonna see what it's like today in its entirety. Whoa, okay. So far right off the bat, the atmosphere and vibe of this one is very dark and creepy. Here we go, already starting off with the gun section here. Got two targets to shoot. I missed. Oh, ooh, that's a big jump. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? We're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. I know I should probably restart there, but we're going to we're gonna keep going here so I can at least finish the map once. Got some walls here. I don't know why these walls are so thick. That's kind of interesting. I don't know why those were walls, but here we go. We got the KRM again. More walls. <gasps> no, I missed. Ah, come on. There we go. That time I was more accurate. That time I was more accurate with the KRM, but the uh, the slightly sticking out wall here did not help me out at all. There we go. That's how it was supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now this is going to be weird. There's water. There's floating water on the sides of these walls, which we expertly avoided. Whoa. Big jumps. Whoa. What are we supposed to do here? Wow! Yikes! Okay, I guess that's what you're supposed to do, is just jump off and pray. <laughs> okay, we got these cylinders here, very akin to the Revelations perk, parkour challenge there. What is this all about? Oh, it's glass! You break right through it! I... okay! So you gotta, like, touch this really gently? What in the world? What did I do to break through that other one? 
I, some of them I'm just fine. Oh, you know what it is? If I boost into the glass, that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. If I boost into the glass, it'll break. So I have to boost and then land on it softly. That's pretty interesting, actually. Oh, can I grab the wall? No, I can't. Okay, great. Damn, I'm already at 10 faults. Holy crap. We're at 252, and we're definitely not even close to the end of this, uh, this course here. What is going on here, though? Okay, this one's pretty interesting. Right, that was an interesting part of the course. Is that a Dracon? Yes, it is. I missed. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, I'm throwing. Okay, there we go. That wasn't so bad, I guess. What is going on here? Oh, I gotta turn around. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna be difficult. Okay, let's see what we can do here, though. We gotta run this way, recharge our backpack, flip around and boost. Recharge our backpack a little bit more. There we go. That's also interesting. Oh, no. Oh, we gotta... We gotta go up, don't we? We gotta, like... Oh, no! Oh, this is weird! Oh, wow. And here's the finish line. Four minutes and six seconds on that one. That's definitely a restart. Wow, this is a very unique course, actually. I'm having a good time with this one. Very challenging. Now, we have a lot of opportunity to save on time here as well, just because I screwed up a lot of times. So, <laughs> I expect this one to be significantly faster than my first attempt. So, let's see what happens. Now I have a better idea of what's actually happening in this course. I think I'll be okay, right? Right, everything's gonna be okay. Avoid the water again, just like last time. Very nice. We're 23 seconds ahead already, which is already a major improvement. And then boost. And then go again. Haha! -ha, there we go. 32 seconds ahead now. Okay, we're back to this part. Ooh. Ooh, I skipped the last cylinder. Wow. Oh, and then the glass. Okay. No, I missed! Oh no! I was trying so hard to be very gentle with the glass that I ended up missing. That's okay. I'll take one fault. I'll take one fault over 10. Uh oh, I might not do this part though. Oh, I barely did it. Wow, that was close. Okay, we got this part now. This part wasn't so bad. See, just like I said, that wasn't so bad. I missed. That's gonna suck. All right, well, it's only a second. And like I said, we have so much time to improve upon here, so. I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried here. Oh, I punched. I didn't mean to punch, but hey, look at this. Look at this. We did the running backwards part flawlessly. Okay, here we go. We got this part again, though. We gotta, like, go around the cylinders. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Hey, 235. That is a much better time than I thought I was going to get. Honestly, I think I'm going to do that one more time. Because we had a fault and we missed that one shot with the Dracon, I think we can get a few seconds faster. Half a second time save. Ooh, this is going to be cutting it kind of close here, I think. Ooh, okay, the glass part is done. Seven second time save. We're good, we're good. Okay, back here with the Draken. Okay. Very good. Ooh, I thought I jumped early there, but we're okay. We're okay. This part's tricky, though. We gotta, like, turn around. Okay, not bad. Not not a bad area right there. Not not bad. Ah, okay. All right, we screwed up. We screwed up. It's okay. We have one more. We can screw up probably one more time here. Okay, all right. I screwed up one more time, but we gotta do it now. Come on, get to the finish line. Oh, I barely got a better time. <laughs> barely got a better time there by, I don't even know, like two tenths of a second. If I didn't screw it up, I would have had a much better time. But honestly, I'll take any kind of improvement. You know, guys, I just have to jump into this one more time because we had those two screw ups at the end. And I know that there could be a massive time save at the very end. So we're going to see if we can go through this course without screwing it up. And we're going to see if we can get this time down to like 2.15 or 2.16 or something like that. Because it could probably get that low. We just have to hope 
that we get through that glass part with no problems and we just got to get through that running around the cylinder part there at the very end with no problems i just can't believe that really screwed us up really big that time ah that that first attempt i did it i did it flawlessly but then we uh then we screwed it up here but these cylinders here aren't too bad so that's nice Woo! I always have a mini heart attack on that part, I swear. All right, here we go, guys. Not bad. Not bad, not bad on that part, okay. Yes, there we go, okay, 221! Very nice. See, that's what I was looking for. A massive time save. It wasn't quite 215, 216 like I predicted, but I will definitely take 221. Now, lastly, before we end off today's video, let's go ahead and review our times here on all four of the free run maps. We got 218 on Alpha, we got 245 on Sidewinder, we got 247 on Infected, and we got 221 on Blackout. So to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty proud of these times. I think I did pretty good today, considering that I haven't really played free run i am really happy with these times and you know what i'm sure that there are some really crazy world records for all of these free run courses but for what it's worth i'm pretty proud of what i did today well there you have it everybody the forgotten game mode of black ops 3 free run what do you guys think about free run feel free to share your thoughts in the comments in addition what's your best time on all of the free run maps also let me know in the comments anyways guys that's it for this video and i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer and with that said have a fantastic rest of of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world and i'll see you guys next time